It's a great honor for me to be here with you today and to try and very briefly summarize the idea behind this forum today, which is completely devoted to sexual medicine, uh, starting from the point of sexual health, which is more than important in my mind, and sexual ecology, which is a completely new concept relating to the overall uh, evaluation of sexuality, starting from the mind, uh, moving to the body, and finally to the society, which is even more than important in these days due to a number of, uh, I would say, terrible considerations. And that reason why, starting from the very uh, final uh, point of the, uh, the day, society, uh, we invited two, I would say, monsters in the field. The one who is uh, Professor Jamie from uh, Paris right now. Uh, he has been appointed as uh, a responsible man for the chair of uh, sexuality at UNESCO. Right now is the, the responsible for the um, research center on sexuality at the INSERM in Paris. And uh, Jasmine Abdul Kadir, uh, this uh, beautiful lady over there, she's from Switzerland and she is completely devoted to, and she completely devoted her research to uh, mutilation, which is uh, very, very compelling in my mind. Moving to the first, uh, part of the day, which is completely devoted to uh, the mind. Mind and the brain are probably uh, the two major points for sexuality. We decided to invite uh, Jim Faust from the Concordia University in Montreal. Uh, is probably the most important and influent bio uh, neurological research relating to uh, behavioral science. Um, we, um, we do have uh, this um, friendship uh, since I don't know how many years ago, probably more than 10 years. And uh, um, he is a very expert in the field of behavioral or uh, science relating to uh, sexuality. Moreover, we do have uh, Pedro Nobre, who is uh, a very famous psychologist from uh, Porto, Portugal. Uh, he is uh, currently the scientific committee chairman at the WOS, the World Alliance for Sexual Health, uh, uh, which is a society completely devoted to sexuality as a whole, which means uh, the body, the mind, and the society, uh, thus including sexual rights. We do have Johannes Bitzer, a very uh, close friend of mine since uh, more than 10 years ago. He's the uh, current uh, chairman and director at the OBGYN department at the Basel University in Switzerland. He's a OBGYN, which means uh, he's a gynecologist with uh, a, a huge experience in the field of uh, sexuality, uh, menopause, uh, and uh, I would say uh, sexuality among uh, cancer patients and uh, the elderly. Finally, we do have the part completely devoted to the body. I do have uh, two very, I would say, uh, incredible friends of mine. The one uh, uh, relating to sexuality is female, Rosella Nappi. Rosella uh, is an associate professor at the University of Pavia, close to Milan. She devoted uh, her entire career to menopause, menopausal transition, sexuality, and I would say, overall women's health, which is a, a completely new concept even in the world of uh, gynecology. And uh, um, she's a brilliant researcher, both from the preclinical standpoint and the clinical standpoint as well. And finally, uh, Mario Maggi. Uh, Mario is uh, uh, a full professor of endocrinology at the University of Florence. Uh, he developed uh, new ideas and new uh, concepts uh, over uh, the last 20 years at least, uh, completely devoted to sexuality and uh, reproductive medicine for both genders. He's a monster in the field, and this is the reason why uh, he has been appointed uh, in several different uh, communities and societies as scientific uh, responsible person. Uh, the last part in the afternoon, uh, we'll see Luca Incroci. Luca is uh, a, a professor of uh, oncology at the uh, Rotterdam University in the Netherlands. He's uh, uh, formerly an Italian in the Netherlands. He's a friend of mine since uh, probably 15 years ago, uh, as all the other uh, uh, speakers today. He devoted his whole career to uh, the combination of the concept that uh, uh, cancer patients may deserve to be 
still alive after the cancer diagnosis, which means that at the end of the day, we do have to try and really combine sexuality as a major point of quality of life, even for those patients who unfortunately uh, uh, receive a diagnosis of cancer and uh, may be treated for cancer, for instance, uh, with radiation therapy, which is the main field of interest for uh, LUCA. We do have the lucky situation of having uh, today uh, with us, uh, after the lunch, David Oldani, who is probably uh, quite famous uh, here in Italy at least, uh, is uh, a Michelin star chef uh, in Milan uh, with uh, a very pop experience. Uh, indeed, he uh, invented the so-called pop food and pop kitchen, uh, which is uh, completely new, but we try to combine the two situations since uh, uh, food and sexuality may stay all together, and this is the year of Expo in Milan, and that's the reason why we invited Davide. Davide will come later on. He's a quite a nice person. Uh, his speech will be in Italian, and uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Kiefner, uh, uh, she is my office manager at the uh, Urological Research Institute here at the academic hospital where I, I used to live and to work on a daily basis, uh, will translate for you the major points of the speech. And uh, please feel free to interrupt us whenever you want, and if you do have to uh, give your question in Italian, please feel free to do that, since uh, uh, Dana will uh, translate uh, the question for you into English. Just to present and introduce myself, uh, I'm an academic urologist here at the uh, University Vita Salute Sarafele. I'm a full staff physician uh, at the unit of uh, urology. This means I'm a surgeon, first of all, and I'm a clinical researcher and I'm currently the director of the Urological Research Institute, which is our institute of translational research in the field of urology, sexual medicine, uh, reproductive medicine, functional urology, and uh, euro-oncology. Along with me, there are many, many guys working on a daily basis uh, from uh, data managing uh, to preclinical lab and clinical research. Therefore, it is a real honor for me to introduce uh, uh, the speakers uh, and uh, this uh, forum today, which is completely devoted to both the scientific public and the lay public whenever they will come. Thank you so much for coming.